What's up, family? Welcome back to another video. Get this video a big thumbs up. So it looked like Angel Reese is finally giving Caitlin Clark huge praise for her celebrity status, and this is just wild, man. Um, here to tell you guys, this one threw me by surprise. Now, we all know that that Wall Street Journal print out that controversial article in regards to the record-breaking year that the league has been having, and they failed to mention Caitlin Clark in the record-breaking moments. A lot of people has been mad about it, and not really reading about it. Well, one part in this article is Angel Reese actually sit down, sit down interview that she did with reporters explaining her career to this point and her giving Caitlin Clark mad praise over her success. Now, we already know this, right? A lot of people could say that, you know, Angel Reese was going to be famous without Caitlin Clark, but her doing this and then this with the, you know, championship ring taunt or taunting her is ultimately what got her famous. You know what I'm saying? If she hadn't done this and this, showing her ring finger in regards to the championship ring that she was prancing about um, to Caitlin Clark, nobody would know who Angel Reese is. So you just gotta, I just gotta keep it real. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be realistic and objective about it. There's a lot of players that Caitlin Clark played in college that is in the WNBA, but nobody garners the fame that Angel Reese garnered because of her actions and the antics she played into the storyline. And that storyline is still going on to this very day because without that storyline of her doing this and this with her hand, nobody would be checking or knowing for who Angel Reese is. Over, so, however, over at New York Post released a wonderful article breaking everything down. So it's already pulled up, as you guys can see on the screen, right? And it stated, Angel Reese reveals that Caitlin Clark trash talk moment that changed her life. Just like I told you guys, she got to admit she got to admit it because without Caitlin Clark, nobody would know who Angel is. And it, all, it only takes one shot, one bucket, one punch to change the athlete's career to give, life, to give life to a rivalry, right? And that will outlive them to transform the sport forever, right? So uh, with that being said, uh, Angel Reese moment came in front of 10 million people right here, as you guys can see. 10 million people during a 2023 NCAA women's basketball title game when her LSU squad down, um, down Caitlin Clark, Iowa team. And it was shocking to see Caitlin Clark and them lose to Angel Reese. And it was hard. It was a hard fought game. And um, it was a hard fought game in uh, Kimiwaki. I think that's how you say her name. Um, you know, put together a wonderful, wonderful defense. And ultimately, Caitlin Clark and them lost, right? And uh, now the article goes on to say, Angel Reese stated this, and I want to make sure I uh, see it, make sure I show you guys, because she stated the proven fact that Caitlin Clark changed her life. And that's her pointing the finger, pointing to the ring finger. And she did all this. And um, I feel like she did too much. I know Caitlin Clark did her little showmanship but she didn't get up in the face you i think angel reese just scratched it she did too much but it was a so it was a full circle you know what i'm saying it's a full circle and angel reese stated that my life literally changed from that game and that's what angel reese told wall street reporters wall street journal reporters reese was crowned with the tournament mvp in lsu one her first national title, but the final moment, the defining image came just before the game clicked. Um, the game clock ticked to zero. And we all know that image was this with the finger. You know, and um, now Caitlin Clark has been doing this John Cena thing throughout the duration of the NCAA tournament, tournament, and a lot of people was not happy with her doing it. But hell, she was hitting shots. She deserved to do it, you know. And she was showboating, but she was standing on what she was doing. Now, Angel Reese coming into this thing, kind of referring it, referring it back to Caitlyn and also pointing at her ring finger um, is what really ignited everything we see today, as you guys can see in the picture right here. And um, the article goes on to say, in just one year into the w their WNBA careers, the Clark rivalry is one of the hottest storylines in women's basketball and women's sports pretty much all sports, to be honest. Headlines continue to pour in with the fact that Clark's historic inaugural season with the Indiana Fever ended, ended up weeks ago. And the second round of the 2024 um, 
playoffs. Reese rookie season ended with the wrist injury, and she pretty much didn't play throughout the whole WNBA Finals forward with Angel Reese and or Caden Clark. So there's little doubt that the league and the sport are better off with them being involved because we already know they're making a lot of money with Angel Reese and Caden Clark being a part of the WNBA league, period. Now, there is a little interview clip that is circling of Angel Reese speaking about the moment Caitlin Clark pretty much changed her life and got her rich. And I want you guys to check this out. So with no further ado, it all makes sense, right? Me and Caitlin have been playing against each other since we were kids. One day, hopefully, we can be teammates. What has been the most important game in your career? Probably my national championship game. That changed my life. Seeing 9.9 .9 million people watch that game, um, from a hand gesture to just winning to everything that happened, changed women's basketball forever. My life literally completely just changed from that game. And you talked about the hand gesture. Mm -hmm. How do you reflect on that moment? Me and Caitlin have been playing against each other since we were kids. It's just a full circle moment of how women are, are viewed when it comes to trash talking. And it's okay in men's, in, in men's sports, so we're going to normalize that in women's sports as well. So it's just super competitive. I think we're two great competitors. We brought a lot of fans to this league, and I thought we're going to continue to do that. And one day, hopefully, we can be teammates. Mm. Now, that last part have been playing it. Now that last part caught me by surprise. I ain't going to lie, because a little like Andrew Reese actually wants to be Caden Clark teammate. And I want y'all to get down in the comment section and let me know right now what y'all think about that. I don't think it's going to work. It would be great. It would be a great thing possibly, but we don't need to see it. That's not something we don't need to see because it looked better with them going against each other. And I ain't going to lie to you. I think Angel know that she owes Caden Clark. And that's why she want to be her teammate. She owes Caden Clark everything. And if you think about all the endorsements Angel Reese is getting right now, Reebok, Reese PCs, she wouldn't be making none of this money if she hadn't done this and then the ring taunt, right? And I'm telling you, I think reality is starting to set in on Angel Reese that Caden Clark actually really did change her life without trash talking her um, or trash talking to her. Um... And without and without Caitlin Clark even being negative online, she's just playing basketball and being competitive, and that's the beauty of Caitlin Clark. Nobody talks about that, but think about this. Caitlin Clark changed Angel Reese's lives back in college, and then she came into the WNBA and changed everybody's lives in the whole darn league. Left it up to me, I believe Caitlin Clark is a life-changing young lady, and think about all the content creators like myself lives that she's changing on YouTube, making content on her. And, you know, a lot of people getting a lot of views on Caitlin Clark content. They never seen before, money they never seen before. But think about the life-changing part of everything she's doing. To me, I believe she's a once-in-a-lifetime type of talent, and everybody owes it all to Caitlin Clark, truthfully. And now with all that being said, Game 5 of the WNBA Finals is today, and... We're going to see what happens because I can't lie. Game four, it was an 82-80 to 80 victory for the Minnesota Lynx. And now you know Sandy Bordello was saying that the referees had a favorable whistle to the Minnesota because you know Cheryl Reeves called them out the other night. And I don't know what the case is with that, but it's looking real spooky out for the referees. Now New York is pissed because they don't want to play no more because it's clear as day they don't want to play no more. And I really hope New York is not running out of gas because they might be running out of gas. And I just got to keep it real. They look a little tired sometimes. But definitely get down in the comment section. Let me know you guys' thoughts, insight, and perspective. Give this video a big thumbs up. Until next time, family, peace.